All right, so uh, I'm out here in the middle of um, this place, and uh, so we're trying out some rounds uh, for a 22. These little things here, if we hope that gets it in focus, I don't know. But these things are little crimped shot shells for 22s. Now these, um, here's what they are. They're a federal load, a little birdshot 22. I don't know how well that appears in the video. I'll hope it does good, all right. So anyway, these little things here, I fired them from a 22 a little while ago, but uh, that was a different one. This one I'm using is a Smith & Wesson. And with the other one, they did not eject well. They would fire, but they don't have enough power to actually eject themselves. And so you'd have to take the mag out, and in that case, for that one, pull the bullet out yourself or cycle the chamber a couple of times to get it to come out. Now, put that pocket on, put my hearing protection on because everyone on the internet complains. All right, so now I'm go over here. There's a can over this way at someone less conveniently out in the middle of nowhere for whatever reason. I believe they grow naturally. So, knowing this, make sure we are chambered. Chambered now. Take it off safe. And I've already shot this one before, but let's see how it does with this pistol. And failed to load. So I can see it fires easily, but drop the mag. This is, uh -uh. so you can see that it does not eject well. So we can try this. There we go, we got it. So these rounds, I haven't, I don't particularly like this design. In fact, there's another one that has a plastics, the uh, plastic cone on it. And those ones I believe might be better, but as it is right there, this thing, it will fail to eject the round, it will fail to load, and it requires some finessing to get out. So let's try this again, put this here. This is also an older pistol, so it's a little harder to maneuver. But that is that round, and it functions the same in this pistol as it did the other one. Now I'm not gonna chamber this one, because now I'm gonna switch over. Again, that is completely unchambered and move to my Derringer, which I got recently, or not too recently, which is in my back pocket. And that here is a little 38 Special Derringer. Can't really tell the name of the company because it's kind of hard on there. I'll put that in the description or something. But a little two-shot Derringer. It was about a $125. I'm just using red, uh, yeah. Lead nose bullets. This thing is loud as hell and it kicks like a freaking mule. Well, we're gonna shoot this can here if we can. And this thing is, oh my God, this is loud. Yeah, that is, I don't even know if I hit it because I shot it before. Let's get a little closer. And that did not go off, I don't know why. Let's try again. All right, let's check this. Oh, it fired. I guess one's a bad primer. Yeah, this primer is a bad one. All right there, you can see it hit, but clearly didn't fire. We got another mm -hmm. one. Oh. My pocket here, if I can get to it, it's deep down in there. Unfortunately, I would have suspected those bullets to fire. So it's not the gun's fault, it's the fault of those bullets. And here we go, finally got more rounds in. The bing, the boom, oh that's the spent cartridge. Well, we don't need to. Just do one to fire this thing. And see if we can do it this time. That was of course chamber. And holy shit. So that's gonna be the end of this right now. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna eject this, toss that out so it can grow another bullet tree in the forest as it does. All right, that's gonna be it.